In this video, we're going to continue talking about ways in which we can solve systems of equations. Specifically, this go around, we're going to talk about solving systems of equations via a method called substitution. Again, just a quick review of these key concepts, that being a solution is any value which makes an algebraic sentence true, and that a point is a solution for a system of equations because it's the point that you will find on every line in the system so it makes every equation work. Let's do some quick review about substitution in general before we get into applying it to systems of equations. This is something from way back in you know early on in your math career where you may have been given a problem like this. Evaluate 3x plus 8 for x equals 5. And that's real simple because all you're going to do is you're going to take 5 and everywhere there's an x you're going to put 5 in for it and work it out. So if we do that, we get 3 times 5 plus 8. 3 times 5 is 15. So 15 plus 8 is 23. And that all started by substitution where this x, 5 rather, was put in for that x because they were the same thing. Let's see how that works in terms of systems of equations. Here's our first system. 3x plus 2y equals 14 and x equals 3y minus 10. This system looks a little bit different from the ones that you did uh, when you were graphing. Namely in that this tells us what x is. It tells us that x is equal to 3y minus 10. This is a perfect system to use substitution for because all we have to do is now take 3y minus 10, go to the other equation, and put 3y minus 10 in everywhere there's an x. Because this says that, well, this is what x is equal. It's kind of like when I make my coffee in the mornings. I don't use sugar. I use a sugar substitute. So instead of pouring that sugar into it, I take this little packet, rip it open, and pour in the substitution. I don't want to use x. I want to use its substitute. I'm going to put in 3y minus 10. And then I begin to work it out. So once I put 3y minus 10 in for the x, here's what I get. 3 times 3 minus 3y minus 10 plus 2y equals 14. Continue to work it out. That becomes 9y minus 30 plus 2y equals 14. Combine my like terms. 11y minus 30 equals 14. I add 30 to both sides. And I get 11y equals 44. And then I divide both sides by 4 and I get y equals 4. Not finished. I only know what y is. Remember, a solution to an ordered pair, excuse me, to a system of equations is an ordered pair. I only know what the y is, so I gotta get the x. Well, this makes it very easy because all I gotta do now is I go back and I would just go to this equation because there's gonna be nothing to do to the x, just work this out. Everywhere there's a y, I'm gonna put four in. And when I do, I get x equals three times four minus 10. That's 12 minus 10, which is two. So the solution is 2, 4. Just like any other problem, though, we're not exactly done because what we need to do is take this ordered pair and put it into each one of our equations, work it out, and make sure that it does indeed uh, work, that it is indeed a solution. And if we do that, we will find for sure that it is. If you have any questions about how this happened, Rewind this and look at the problem again. Listen to the explanation before moving on. Here's an example that I want you to do on your own. So push pause and solve this problem by yourself. Now, you probably noticed that, hey, this tells me what y is. This is a perfect example for substitution. All I have to do is everywhere there's a y in the other equation, I can put in 2x plus 5. And when you did that, you got 4x minus 
three times instead of y. Now I've got 2x plus 5 equals negative 11. And when you work this out, you had 4x minus 6x minus 15 equals negative 11. Negative 2x minus 15 equals negative 11. Add 15 to both sides. Negative 2x equals 4. And x equals negative 2. And you hopefully remember that you're not done yet. you got to find out what y is now. You've only got half of your ordered pair. So I take my x equals negative 2. I go back and put it in this equation. And I get y equals 2 times negative 2 plus 5 y equals negative 4 plus 5 and that should be y equals 1 not x equals 1 and so my ordered pair is negative 2 1 go back and put it into our equations and we'll find that it does indeed work now this next problem that we're going to do is just a little bit different We don't have what x is, or we don't have what y is. We're given this in standard form. x plus 2y equals negative 1, and 3x minus y equals 11. So what you have to decide to do is, are you going to solve one of these for x, or are you going to solve one of these for y? What I'd like for you to do is push pause and solve this, and then come back and see how I did it. And I'm going to have it done with two different ways. Let's start by what would happen if you were to solve for x. This first equation, the one right here, x plus 2y equals negative 1, since there's no coefficient in front of the x, all we got to do is move the 2y to the other side and make that equation x equals negative 2y minus 1. Now I've shown what happens when you take that and substitute it into the second equation. 3 times negative 2y minus 1 minus y equals 11. You go through all the work and you'll end up getting y equals negative 2. You then take that y equals negative 2, put it back up here and work it out, and you will get that x is equal to 3. That's one way of doing it. You may have chosen the other one, if we look at this, there's no coefficient in front of the y, so we don't have to worry about fractions. And if I solve that for y, I'll get y equals 3x minus 11. Then doing the same thing, I'm taking that and putting it into the first equation, every place there's a y, because you've got to put it into the other equation. That's one thing I haven't mentioned, but always remember to put it in the other equation. So I get x plus 2 times... 3x minus 11 equals negative 1. I do all the stuff to work it out, and I get down to x equals 3. And then I take what I got for x equals 3, put it back up here, solve it, and I get y equals negative 2. Either way, I get the same answer. I get the ordered pair 3, negative 2. And that's how you solve systems of equations via substitution. If you have any questions still, go back, listen to this, review all the problems, pay attention to how things are done. And when you're ready, here's your assignment, page 282, 1 through 15 odd.